in a small shop. Two friends have extraordinary powers that let them enter photos. They jump into pictures brought to them by clients in order to grant their wishes. Through the eyes of the photographer, they live through the events of the past surrounding the picture and try to decipher how to solve their client's request. At Time Photo Studios Lu Guang and Cheng Xiaoshi are tasked by an unnamed client to expose the company's fraudulent activities. Cheng Xiaoshi enters Emma's body through the picture, being guided by Lu Guang in the present. As of the time of the picture, Cheng gets sexually assaulted by Emma's boss at Vicky Games before returning home. While lying in their respective beds, Lu Guang and Cheng converse. Lu Guang advises Cheng to be cautious and avoid doing anything that might alter the timeline. Cheng ignores this advice and sends Emma's parents a text message. The next morning, Cheng makes a deliberate mistake that causes Emma to be treated unfairly. As his boss's wife appears she accuses him of cheating on her with Emma when he claims he's doing extra hours. Cheng has a difficult time dealing with the situation, as Emma's boss plots against him saying that Emma badgers him. Against his own will, Cheng allows himself to be slapped as Emma, allowing him to get the information he seeks. In the present, a tearful Emma enters her home and discovers the message Cheng sent to her parents. Following that, a scene depicts Emma and her parents preparing to take a train ride to see each other. A man offers Emma a ride to the station while Cheng mulls over the consequences of his actions. Lu Guang looks at the news on his phone while Cheng is distracted by Kaio and discovers that Emma has died. As the next client appears, Yu Zia, the owner of a restaurant chain, tracks down the timing duo in the hopes of obtaining the secret soup recipe kept hidden by her business partner Lin Zhen. They have been business partners for 10 years but Lin Zhen has always hidden the recipe and decided to start a new branch alone. The duo fails several attempts to figure out the secret recipe. Cheng realizes that the reason for Yu and Lin's breakup is a difference in philosophy about how to run the noodle shop. Yu desired to expand, whereas Lin desired to be a small noodle shop. As the business partner is separate, while looking at Lin's purse they manage to find out clues. Cheng discovers the secret ingredient to be a fragrant flower from Yu's hometown. The duo finds a last unnoticed picture from the dorm days, where Lin used to make noodles in the dorm room to eat with Yu Zia. They travel to that time and find out that the secret ingredient was originally bought up by Yu Zia. Hearing this, Yu sets out to find Lin to mend their friendship and the two meet they smile and embrace each other. Their third client sneakily approaches Kaio, an architect named Chen Zio who heard the rumors about Cheng Zioshi and Lu Guang's abilities. He seeks them out to give three messages to the past, to make amends for his regrets from his previous basketball game. During the game, Cheng serves as a benchwarmer and photographer, until the camera flash allows the opponent to get away with injuring the team's star player on purpose. Cheng is brought in as a substitute, and immediately steals the ball from the other team's best player. After dribbling past all the opponents, he dunks the ball on the hop. As he thinks that he won't lose basketball games, he gets a flashback memory where he meets Lu Guang where he was picking up a stray basketball and gets invited by Cheng to join him and his friends in a basketball game. However, since Cheng Xiaoshi's actions may end up shifting the past and altering the future, Lu Guang warns Cheng about it, particularly when it comes to changing the game's outcomes since they're supposed to be defeated by the opponent team. Cheng passes the ball to a teammate in the final moments, remembering the importance of others and teamwork. As his teammate makes a three-point shot they end up winning the game thus changing the past. Cheng Xiaoshi resumes his mission as Lu Guang, claims that the game incident won't be able to change the past. Since the note or critical point in history has not been changed, Cheng discovers from the coach that the team captain lobbied to keep the basketball court from being demolished if they won the game. But the coach admitted that lacks the courage to admit that the result is useless, because the school already decided to demolish the gym anyways. To continue the client's request, Cheng rides the captain back home on his bike and delivers the message to the team's captain. As they get near the captain's house, they meet the captain's sister, and the captain requests Cheng to take a picture with his sister. After that, Cheng takes the sister for a walk, at which point Cheng delivers the second message. The final message was delivered after returning home and resolving a quarrel with Chen's mother. Cheng asks Liu if delivering those messages will impact the past but Liuo claims that it won't change anything. Cheng quickly realizes the current day on the past and finds out why the mission won't change anything. 
It's all because on the same day an earthquake occurred resulting on the death of many people, including Cheng's parents. As Cheng finally realizes that every change he did on the past timeline had no effect because they were all doomed to die in the first place. Liu Guang informs Cheng that he cannot change death because it is a vital node. Cheng ignores this and tries unsuccessfully to persuade Chen's friends to flee their village to avoid the earthquake. Lu warns Cheng that everything he does or says to change the past will end up causing commotion and making it unpredictable, as he cannot save those who are destined to die on that day, and at the same time it may end up killing those who are supposed to stay alive. Cheng begs Lu Guang to let him help Chen save his mother, and Lu Guang agrees. However, this agreement is not genuine because the mother still dies in the earthquake trying to protect Cheng. Cheng realizes Lu Guang anticipated this and punches him in the face. Then Cheng collapses to his knees and sobs into Lu Guang's chest. After that mission, Kaio Ling is informed that Cheng Xiaoshi and Lu Guang will be taking a break from entering photos, but they will remain operating as a photography studio. Suddenly a policeman shows up at the studio and inquires about the enigmatic business going on. The officer was accompanied by a man, who was seeking assistance in the kidnapping case of his son. Despite his obvious distress, he's turned away by Cheng because they just decided to halt operations. Claiming that they could print old pictures but going back to the past was impossible God as even God cannot change it. Kaio finds Cheng searching online about the child, then she tells him that three years prior, Kaio Ling saw the child, Dudu, being kidnapped from his parents' milk tea shop but couldn't tell the kid's parents about it. As the duo is compelled to act and searches for clues using police CCTV footage, Cheng ends up traveling back in time as himself thanks to CCTV footage. Lu reminds Cheng that he must be cautious by keeping a low profile, and he shouldn't try to change the past, as it would affect the outcome. As Cheng sees the kid being taken away, he decides to follow them but he runs into Kaio Ling from the past while chasing the kidnapper. While attempting to avoid changing the timeline by interacting with Kaio Ling, Cheng loses track of the kidnapper. After that, back to the present Kaio Ling speaks with the father and the mentally ill mother, admitting that she has seen the child before. The duo uses a photo taken by Dudu on the day of the kidnapping to piece together enough information to identify the kidnapper and save the child. Cheng goes back on past under the child's body and as he finds a stray small ball moving into him, the kidnapper appears and asks him to return the ball. He ends up being drugged by the smell of the ball and wakes up on a room while she's asleep. He proceeds to look for clues, he finds out their current location and checks her ID. As she wakes up, he punches her and claims that she will get arrested three years into the future. Following the family reunion, the police chief inquires as to how Cheng was seen running on CCTV footage and requests assistance with a serial murder case. Lu Guang examines the case photos, one of which shows Emma's body. He hides the photo before Cheng sees it, replacing it with a picture of the killer, and dismisses the case. Zhu Shanchen, a Time Photo Studio gang friend, asks for help in figuring out what her close friend and love interest, Dong Yi is up to. Cheng goes back in the past to Zhu's body, but as Dong Yi claims that has something to say to Zhu, Cheng notices a man approaching Zhu's friend just as Dong is saying what he had to say. Cheng instead of listening pursues the man into an alleyway, fearing he is the serial killer depicted in the police chief's photograph. It turned out that the man was not the serial killer, but someone Zhu had recently turned down, as the man prepares to assault Cheng as he has a drug tissue in his hand. Cheng acts drunk and throws up which makes the man cover his nose and pass out due to the drug. Lu Guang texts Zhu about what Dong said to her in the present, and the group receives an unusual text message in response. Concerned by the reply, they dial Zhu's number and are surprised to hear a strange man's voice on the other end deliver a cryptic message. Lu Guang goes to the police station, fearful that the strange man on the phone call is the killer. After visiting the police station Lu is able to identify the killer's license plate by entering the killer's CCTV photo. He also notices Cheng in the photograph and realizes Cheng is the only one in the photograph. When the police chief goes to see Liu Min, their main suspect, and owner of the vehicle, he discovers that he is paralyzed as a result of a recent car accident. Because Liu Min was in the hospital, he has an alibi for the crime. In the photo, Cheng is seen getting into the trunk of Liu Min's car as Liu and Emma enter it. Liu drives to a remote location and begins strangling Emma while shouting her name. When Cheng hears this name, he realizes that his actions as Emma altered her fate and led her to this point in time, where she is about to be murdered. Cheng screams in agony, and just as Liu Min is about to open the trunk, Cheng vanishes. Cheng reappears in front of an enraged Liu Guang and a surprised Kaio Ling at the Time Photo Studio. Cheng 
defeated, admits he did not change anything and realizes his actions were futile. He accepts responsibility for Kaio's inability to see Du Du, as he was the cause of her distraction. Kaio is taken aback by Cheng's ability, but she dismisses it to check if the police have made any progress. The police claim Emma could not have been murdered, because CCTV footage shows her walking alone on a bridge. Meanwhile, they also claim that Liu Min was at the hospital on the same night due to a car accident. Liu Guang discovers something that happens to Zhu after finding a photo taken by her before she vanishes. After Liu's photo analysis, he explains that the connection has been broken after Zhu was attacked by a masked man, and whatever happened Cheng had to go through the same process so he doesn't change the past. Cheng spends some time to be mentally prepared for what might happen if he enters the photo. As Cheng claims he's prepared, he enters the photo at the time Zhu gets into the photo studio. Conversing with himself and his friends, he ends up realizing what they think of him both the positive and negative aspects. As the night approaches we can notice something happening in both timelines. On the past, Zhu almost gets assaulted by the mysterious man. But in the present, the mysterious man enters the photo studio but Lu locks him in a room. Cheng intervenes to prevent the assailant from killing Zhu. Cheng strikes a deal with the photo's assailant before returning to the present. He then gets back to the present by appearing in front of the assailant in the development room. It is revealed that the appearance of the man in the photo studio was planned by Cheng while on Zhu's body, therefore creating an alternative timeline. Cheng intends to confront the attacker and make a deal after recalling the unusual text message from Zhu. In exchange for Zhu's safety, the attacker was given a hint the next morning. Lu Guang is on board with the plan, thanks in part to Cheng's meticulous planning. Since the assailant agrees, and in the present, he is locked in the development room with Cheng. Cheng enters photographs of the attacker's victims as the two fight to reveal his weakness. Behind the mask is revealed to be Liu Min, who is apprehended by authorities. Authorities interrogate Liu Min, but they get perplexed by his sporadic paralysis. Liu Min speaks about his friend who carried out the murders, describing them in a way that suggests that he may have schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder. This further perplexes authorities, who have been told there is no mental illness. Feeling guilty for Emma's death, Cheng ends up requesting the CCTV footage, following the past course of action when Cheng was almost discovered in Liu's trunk. Liu was convinced he had killed Emma and rushed to the hospital, but Emma regains consciousness and scares Liu as he thinks she's a ghost causing the car to crash. Emma manages to make it out alive and tries to text her parents, who are waiting for her to return home but discovers that her phone is broken. As Cheng arrives he tries to talk Emma out of jumping off the bridge just as she is about to do so. He reveals his ability and tries to encourage her. But at present moment Emma's eyes, personality, and way of speech change claiming she didn't realize there was a witness. She then leaps from the bridge. At that moment Cheng and Liu both realize that someone else also has the ability to take over their bodies. And the culprit is someone else. As they realize Kaio's eyes change into the same color as Emma's under possession and stabs Liu Guang asking if he's Cheng's friend. The story ends when Cheng arrives in the present to find a bloody Lu Guang, and the possessed Kaio mocks Cheng for cheating, saying she's looking forward to continuing their game after this reset. This is all for this anime. Give the video a like, and I will see you in the next minutes.